Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we will share our experiences and challenges we face in an effort to find new life in Australia. Especially, we are trying to make this country our own and try to blend our culture to this country. Today, Sadeka, Pauline and I will provide experiences and challenges for living and settling in Australia. I chose Australia to be my home more than 35 years ago. I was only just 22 years old when I came to Australia. I was also just like any other person in this theatre, full of energy and dream for achieving something extraordinary. And when I just arrived in Australia, I had biggest cultural shock in my life. Our Bangladesh culture was completely different than Australia. So I gradually try to adjust with Australian cultural environment. My main challenge at that time was to find job as an accountant so that I never go out of my profession. My dealing with a number of people over the years indicated that once you slip track of your profession, it is very hard to get back to the track, that is, to go back to your own profession. But when I arrived in Australia, I had a very good mentor, my father-in-law, who guided me to the right direction and advised me to complete an Australian accounting degree. I did Master of Accounting from the University of Wollongong and came back to Darwin, a land of opportunities for accountants. Kaji Abhi Fakamati Goldiyachi. The first job is very difficult to get in Australia as employers always want Australian experience. But I was a lucky person. The first job I applied more than 35 years ago was in a chartered accountant firm. And I was told by the partner that at the interview that he likes Bangladeshi people. I was surprised. At the time, in Darwin, no one knew that there is a country called Bangladesh. People in Darwin used to call us Indian. I then asked the partner, why he likes Bangladeshi people? He replied that he was an UNDP consultant in Bangladesh. And he found that Bangladeshi people are very loyal. I was fortunate. And I was very lucky that I had right connection in the right place. I did not have any problem getting my first job as an accountant in Australia. After that, I never looked back and my success was climbing. Now here I am, opened a chartered accounted firm in Australia. And I have achieved in my life what I wanted to achieve. I have no regrets. On the contrary, Pauline's story is not as smooth as mine, but she has same degree like me. I did my degree more than 35 years ago but Pauline completed just recently. How now I request Pauline to tell her story. Thank you, Bhaiya, for giving me the opportunity to share my story along with you in front of this big audience. When I first arrived in Australia, my biggest problem was to understand Australian accent and communicating with the Australian with Bangladeshi English accent. I came to Australia as a student. My husband also came with me and we started doing our jobs to survive and to pay my university tuition fees. Once I completed Master of Accounting from Charles Darwin University, my first intention to become Australian resident but it was not easy. Initially, when I came to Australia, the points requirements for Australian residents was 60 points. But since I completed my degree, the points requirements changed to 65 points. And for these requirements, I have to work hard. I have to score seven points in English language cost. And it was very hard for me. Due to that time, I completely shut down my social life. 
I only then did study, work, and also in that time I went through great, great, great frustration. Although now I am permanent resident, but my frustration has not gone through. As now I have a degree of Master of Accounting, I desperately need a job in accounting fields because I was a working person in my home country and there I was a lucrative position as a manager in the Bank of Bangladesh. So I started apply for the job. But soon I realized that my employers want some Australian experience before offering me a job. And it is the biggest confusion for me. How can I have some Australian experience to show as I never work in accounting fields in Australia? And it is the beginning of new struggle of my life. As I am not getting a job in accounting fields, people who are surrounding me, they are giving me so many suggestions. Some only tell to give me suggestions like that to do some accounting related courses. But is there any guarantee that if I do those courses, I get the job I want? I'm not getting younger. I need to start as a trainee accountant. As I grow older, it is hard for me to get a trainee accountant job. And today, when I'm looking around, I found this situation not only for me. There are many young persons surrounded us who are now facing the same problem like me. So today, I have a question on behalf of a younger generation who are like me. What should we do? Is there any solutions of our problem? Did we come to Australia to do our jobs and getting frustrated? I am still looking for the answers of my question. My journey is still continuing, but I hope one day my dream will come to. Thank you all for listening to me so patiently. And thank you once again, Bhaiya. It is a big day for me that today I am sharing the stage with you. And also, it's a great opportunity for me, and I don't want to miss the chance to ask him that, do you have any suggestions or any answers of my questions? Please. <laughs> Now, Polly, you are giving me a hard time. I also don't know the answer to this question, but I know you are as good as me, or maybe more talented than me. Given the opportunity, you will fulfill your duties and responsibilities. You need a chance. From my experience, living in Australia since my very young age, I request younger generation had in the audience Try to make right decision in your life and ask advice from seniors who have experiences and went through challenges in Australia. I also sincerely request our senior generation who have established in Australia and having a responsible and lucrative position within government or private sector. Please, please help the younger generation wherever you can to provide them with the next jobs. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you all.